Hello, driving intelligence community. I want to talk a little bit about my SVO Mustang 1985. I've got a little bit of a problem with the bump steer because I lowered it with iBox Springs. We're going to talk about two steps that I've used to resolve that bump steer. Let's get into it. Today I'm working on my 1985 SVO Mustang. I am the original owner. Uh, I lowered this vehicle about an inch and a half front and rear uh, with iBox springs. You can't see the springs in here right now. They're covered by the rotor assembly. But because of lowering it, I created a bump stair situation, which means that when you go over bumps, uh, because of the geometry of the tie rod, um, it's likely to pull the wheel even further in a direct, certain direction, causing the, the vehicle to steer itself. Um, I've already corrected that with some offset rack bushings for the steering rack, but I installed a, uh, this end link for the tie rod, which assists in uh, correcting the geometry of this tie rod. So I'm going to finish installing this right now. I don't have it properly installed yet. i uh, just got to take this nut off, and, and there's some sleeves that, that you move around to modify the location of this, uh, the tie rod end. Here's a close-up of the UPR bump steer kit that I bought for this Mustang. You see that it comes with sleeves, a multiple selection of sleeves that allow you to adjust the angle of the end of your tie rod. Right now you'll see that the tie rod is slightly down, but it was much higher because of the, uh, the lowering of the Mustang. So what I want to do is adjust these or modify these, these uh, sleeves to make this as straight as possible. So it's as simple as removing the nut, self-locking nut, and this will come off. So here you'll see I've moved the spacer, reinstalled the tie rod end, and now I'm getting a much straighter angle of the tie rod. So this will make for much better handling and better uh, straight line steering, especially when you're going over bumps with a, a lowered Mustang. I've got the tie rod bolted up and it's at a perfect angle to the steering rack. Here you'll see this one is up slightly and that's enough to cause some bump steer. I mentioned that I put offset steering rack and that would be that, that bushing right there and right there there's two of them to change the uh, geometry of the steering rack to, uh, to help with bump steer as well. So taking a couple steps here to make sure that the vehicle doesn't steer itself during driving. 